Wildcat fans, we are here inside the halls of Hallsville ISD. This segment is sponsored by Roofmasters and Bubba's 33 in Longview, Texas. Today we are here with Mr. Clay Novel. Mr. Novel, how are you today, sir? I'm doing fantastic. Now, our actual title here at the high school is what? Our actual title? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my title. title. Oh, yeah. 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 I was like, the, well, we're a Hall School Out podcast, you know? But, no, I'm, I'm an assistant principal here. So what, what grade do you do? Are you the, I mean, do you have a certain grade that you do? <laughs> no, what we do is by alpha. So I'm A through G on last night. So yeah, oh, alphabet. alphabet. Yeah, alpha. alphabet. No, I, well, I am the alpha. I got you. You <laughs> said I'm the alpha. I got it all. I'll take it all. <laughs> now, this second year in Hossel, right? Yes, sir. 13 years in education. Yes, sir. Did you always want to be an educator, Mr. Novel? No, sir, I did not. What brought you into education? Well, my parents were in education for a long time. Um, and I, I kind of ran away from it and was in the business world for a while, made, made, some, made some money. And uh, one day, I don't know what changed my mind, either my wife or, or the good Lord, and he told me to go try it out. And I tried it out and I fell in love. And Here we and are. I, well, kind of. Yeah. It's kind of a long story, but I'll cut it short. About two years into it, I realized that there's a lot of things in education that, that need to change and for kids and for parents and for the community and, and for teachers. And so I realized that the only way you can change this is if you're part of it. So that's why I stayed in education. That's why I'm a part of it. Being, being a professional fisherman is what he was doing. Yeah, it, it, didn't pay the bills. it didn't pay the bills, so he went to education. I wasn't winning as often as I <laughs> normally do. As an educator, Mr. Nival, when you come into a day I mean, I know there's got to be good days and there's got to be bad days, but when you step in these halls, what 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 makes a good day for you? Man, I love people. And so dealing with anybody, especially the students, messing with them, I mean, there's not a kid that I don't mess with walking down the hallway, either picking on them about their hat or their, their shirt or, or just giving them a high five as they walk down. Um, but being able to see teachers uh, doing what they love to do and uh, man, that's just, that's almost every day for me. So even the bad stuff gets disguised by all that. Right. So on, is your job, all, you just said something that makes me inquire, is it, in, is it re really managing students, managing staff, or all the above? Are they managing you? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he said. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a real tough question because, uh, in my opinion, it's not just that. It's the when we say all stakeholders, we're talking about even the community. Anybody who has involvement with the school, you're managing them and they manage you and you kind of go that way with it. It's, it's a give and take. So what's a typical day for, in your, for, for you? For me? A typical day, you come in the morning, what is, what is your typical day? Well, I start off at about 5.30 in the morning on the boat and Boat fishing, and yeah. fishing. <laughs> decide whether you're coming to work or not. Yeah, that's right. No, no. I, typical I day. Which way I'd go. <laughs> typical day. I I, I come in and uh, you know we start off the day by monitoring safety in the kids in the hallways and and uh, then we start off uh, looking in classrooms with teachers and we deal with discipline a lot of times and and uh, a lot of times just putting out fires, uh, but. Uh, Mr. Gibson's got a good plan for us this year, so we, we were able to push into classrooms a lot more and see teachers teach and seeing kids be successful, so that's really nice to see as well. But a typical day, man, there's not really a typical day. It's always something new. It's always something new. <laughs> Biggest difference between year one when you started in education to now? And me or in education? Both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, a little bit of both, actually. I mean, what, what's the biggest difference that you see today compared to when you started? Well, when I started, uh, I was kind of immature in all of it. Uh, my perception of education was, I mean, was what my parents had. My parents were in education a long, long time ago. So it's evolved. The kids evolved. Um, Kids are always changing, so you can't say it's the same. Nothing's really the same. It's always changing. As far as me, I just keep growing. Yeah. You know, and dealing with different things, and uh, I don't write it down. I try to keep it all in my head. That might be something I need to start working <laughs> on, but yeah, just keeping on changing. 
Well, Mr. Nine, well, thank y'all for joining us. Fans at home, thank y'all for joining us. This has been Inside the Halls of Hallsville ISD. We'll see y'all next time.